y equals negative x squared, find, ooh, this means the second derivative. So I'm going to take the derivative once, I'm going to take the derivative a second time and see what I get. So the first derivative, d regular y, d regular x, forces me to use the power rule. So the power rule is you take the exponent, you drop it in front of the x, or multiply it to whatever coefficient is there. My coefficient's negative 1, invisible 1, but negative 1. Uh, so I would take, I'll keep the negative there, drop the 2 down, the 2 in front, Keep x the way it is and subtract 1 from the exponent. So 2 minus 1 is 1. That's sloppy. So negative 2x. Now I have to take the second derivative, which means I take the derivative of that guy right there. So the way you write out the second derivative is d squared y dx squared. You could put, you know, that would also mean second derivative y double prime, but, you know, whatever. Uh, whenever I'm taking the derivative of a co um, coefficient, forgot my word there, times x, just an x, x to the invisible 1, you just have the constant now. So if you're wondering, well, why? Well, pretend that's an invisible 1, multiply the 1 out in front, nothing changes, subtract 1 from 1, so x to the 0 is nothing, the x goes away, this is my answer right here. So the second derivative of negative, that's the worst looking circle I've ever made in my entire life. Uh, the second derivative of negative x squared is negative 2. That's it.